Health Minister Gillian Keegan was invited on to Wednesday's installment of BBC Breakfast to discuss the changes to COVID-19 testing requirements in England. When host Sally Nugent probed the minister on the topic she admitted she didn't have any official news updates to share. Many viewers branded the interview a car crash and accused the minister of not having a clue about proposed changes to coronavirus testing. Nugent probed the minister on whether she had any updates on the proposed changes to coronavirus testing which she could share with BBC viewers. However, Keegan replied, All I can tell you is that we are doing a lot of testing, we are probably testing more per head than any other country in the world as we are doing lots of lateral flow testings. But I don't have any official news or updates for you this morning. Nugent continued, but we know ministers are finalizing plans for millions of people who test positive on the lateral flow test who are now being told they do not need to take a follow-up PCR test if they are asymptomatic. What do you know about that? The minister replied, well as I say I don't have any official news on that but I know the teams are looking at testing. A place in the sun buyer breaks down over decision for move swarms of BBC breakfast viewers took to Twitter to hit out over the interview, with at left 89 commenting, Gillian Keegan on BBC breakfast, was an, absolute car crash of an interview. Just smiling and saying nothing for five minutes. She doesn't seem to have a clue about the proposed changes. Another politician promoted way above her capability. Hashtag breakfast hashtag Gillian Keegan. Paul Stokes fumed, if Gillian Keegan was being interviewed by me for a job I would bring it to a swift close. Vacuous lazy and inarticulate. And smug. Don't forget smug. Hashtag breakfast ordinary bloke added, here we go again. It's that time for the community of Twitter folks that just love to watch interviews, and get themselves all faux outraged by not hearing the answers they want, or any answer. Hashtag breakfast at Stodzy added, it's pretty clear that as soon as Gillian Keegan doesn't know an answer to a question she starts grinning inanely. She was frequently grinning inanely on hashtag breakfast. Karen Norris raged, Gillian Keegan on hashtag breakfast with nothing to say. Sitting there with a smug, supercilious look. What's the point? Soralero added, hashtag breakfast what is the point of Gillian Keegan appearing on this program if she can't tell us anything? During the rest of the interview, Keegan explained the government has introduced so many lateral flow tests but stated for a second time she didn't have any official news. East Enders exit, why has Priya Devdra left role as a Kra Ahmed? Theory Carol Kirkwood sends warning to BBC co-star over weather hopes, insight Naga Munchetti avoids new challenge as she's worried about injury, latest. She told Nugent the country might be able to expect some news on a testing update, but made it clear she did not know when. The minister showed BBC viewers a lateral flow test which she had taken and said, go on the website and scan the code and we have invested a lot in testing and we would like feedback too, so if you could go to the extra efforts and upload your lateral flow test result that would be very much appreciated. However, Nugent interjected and reminded the minister many people across the country are not doing that, so Keegan urged people to upload their results. Nugent said one of the many reasons for the change in testing rules is due to staff shortages and pressed Keegan to tell her the number of people who are currently isolated. The health boss replied, we don't collect that data, but it's about a million to answer your question. Her appearance on BBC Breakfast came in wake of the government setting a review date for testing in England for today. 
BBC Breakfast continues weekdays between 6 a.m. and 9 a.m. on BBC One.